you will always reach a time in your life when you have something that you need to do, but you really don't want to do it, and you want to put it off, but you won't know how. You'll take walks around the house and stuff, you'll just linger and amble about aimlessly, and you'll just get really bored and stuff, so you don't really have anything to do, and eventually you'll just end up getting on with whatever it is you need to do, even though you don't particularly want to do it. This video is actually how to put it off. That's not a good thing, but this is how to procrastinate. You can read a book, it doesn't have to be a book you like, you can just read a few chapters of a book even if you're not that keen on it. That passes time quite well because what I find is that even after I've read like an hour's worth of this book then I still have some left and I can still read more if I want or I could go on to another book and just reading passes the time really well actually and that's a good suggestion if you want to pass the time productively, read a book. Alternatively, you could watch a film, or six. In one day, I watched all four Shrek films, plus the Christmas one and the Halloween one. Yeah, you, you can kind of see why that's a bad thing. But it passes the time. That passed a very long time, actually. I spent an entire day doing that. Go for walks. Now, this may seem like a really boring prospect, but it's worth it because if you take a long enough walk, you can go shopping, you can end up in Tesco's, and you could buy CDs or DVDs or food. I ended up buying quite a lot of food the other day, actually. I bought loads and loads of Doritos and Fanta, which isn't food, but it still counts. And you can just buy things, and you come back full-handed, and you feel better than you did when you left. Unless you've wasted your money, then you just feel terrible. You can paint, which is something I do quite a lot, because that this took about two hours, and if you can spend that long doing something like this, then it's worth it, because you have a thing at the end that you can show people and go, look, this is what I spent my time doing, I didn't just waste it, and it, and it, it passes time. You can adequately say, look, that's two hours that I've just put off doing whatever I need to do. Another one is sleep. Obviously, although you can't really necessarily choose how long you sleep for. You can't go, I'm going to sleep for three hours now. You just sleep for however long you sleep, and that'll do. You can watch YouTube videos, because if you find a YouTube channel with enough videos, you can spend entire days watching those. Like Rhett and Link, I ended up watching loads of them. You should subscribe to them, watch their videos and stuff. Definitely. I always find myself just watching their videos over and over, and... It's just absolutely great fun. They have a second channel as well. I'll link those both in the description. Another YouTuber, actually, this is off on a completely different tangent, that I would recommend to you is Jack Howard. You've probably heard of OMFG, it's Jack and Dean. If you have, but haven't heard of Jack's solo channel, you should definitely check that out. I'll link that in the description as well, and you should go watch his videos and subscribe because they're funny and interesting, unlike mine. Ah, it seems to be the case with all of them. But yes, go and click his channel and you won't be disappointed, I promise. I've told him that I'm going to be tagging him in this video. It's not really a tag, it's more of a shout out. I've told him I'm going to be giving him a shout out in this video. Don't know if he's read it, because we don't, we don't actually talk, I just sent him a message on YouTube saying, oh, I'm going to tag you in a video, I'm going to suggest you to people. Uh, I don't know if he's got that, but yeah. Or, if you don't want to watch videos, make one. If you have a YouTube channel and you're bored, just make a YouTube video. If you don't have a YouTube channel and you're bored, make a YouTube channel, because it doesn't have to be interesting. You can do them just to pass the time, you can do them just because you're bored. That's exactly the reason I started this channel, because I had nothing to do, and I just fancy doing something a little bit different, I fancy procrastinating, and so I thought, you know what, I'll just make a YouTube channel. And I did. And I've got some really good feedback, actually. So yes. A couple of people have given me feedback, I will link them as well in the description, check them out. So yeah, um, what do you do to procrastinate? 